The Galaxy A55 is one of Samsung's A-series smartphones that is well known for its premium feel. This year, Samsung took it up a notch by adding an aluminum frame, which changed everything. <laughs> Today's review will focus on the design, the camera, performance. So, let's get started. Unboxing the Galaxy A55, it's not so exciting because, as usual, Samsung keeps things way too simple. The first thing you see is the slick device itself. Beneath the device, you find the essentials neatly arranged. The USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. The SIM injector tool which allows you to easily eject the SIM tray. And no Samsung unboxing will be complete without the user manual. Talking about SIM cards, the A55 offers dual physical SIM slots. Additionally, it includes eSIM features, enabling you to add more SIM cards to your device. In terms of colors, you can easily choose between black, blue, violet, and yellow. For design, comparing the Galaxy A55 to the A54, there are some notable upgrades that stand out. The material used in the A55 gives a fancier feel compared to the A54, with a mix of glass and aluminum. The A55 feels more high-end, giving you a better grip. The aluminum edges not only makes the A55 feel nicer, but also makes it tougher. It's less likely to damage from everyday use. The volume on the power button are located on the right hand side. Additionally, the phone features a dual stereo speaker like last year's model, enhancing the experience of watching videos and listening to music. The fingerprint scanner is built into the display and conveniently located for easy access. It works effectively for unlocking your phone. For the display, the Galaxy A55 has a great display that makes everything look fantastic. Here's what you need to know. The screen has a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels, which makes everything appear sharp. It also has a big screen measuring at 6.6 .6 inches, so you have plenty of space to do whatever you want. It's a super AMOLED screen, which makes colors look very bright and vibrant. Whether you're watching videos, looking at photos, or even playing games, everything looks awesome. When you're out in sunlight, the screen is clearly visible thanks to its 1000 nit screen. Although it's not the brightest display available, the Redmi 13 has 1,800 nits, while the Camon 13 Pro has 1,200 nits. This screen is still good enough to use outdoor. For software, the A55 runs on Android 14 with One UI 6.1, giving you a smooth and user-friendly experience. With Android 14, you get all the latest features and improvements, like better privacy controls and performance enhancements. One UI 6.1 adds a layer of customization, letting you personalize your phone, just the way you like it. You can change your themes, arrange your home screen, and tweak settings to make your phone work best for you. Samsung promises long-term support with four years of software updates and five years of security updates. Also, there's a new app you can find on the A35 and this A55, which is called Find. It helps you track your phone and share your location to family and friends. For performance, the Galaxy A55 is powered by the Exynos 4080 chipset. It's a four nanometer chipset which delivers solid performance across various stacks with an impressive Antutu score of 713k. This score proves that it's capable of handling heavy tax. When it comes to gaming, the device offers a decent gaming experience, although there are some limitations. Popular games like Call of Duty Warzone can be played smoothly, but only on HD graphics settings for an enjoyable gaming experience. For sound, the Galaxy A55 has a dual stereo speaker that produces decent sound with quality, but it may not match the performance of flagship devices. But still, they provide an enjoyable media experience, whether you're watching videos, listening to music, or just gaming. The sound is good. For the camera, the A55 comes with a versatile camera setup, including a 50 megapixel primary sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 5 megapixel macro lens. This combination allows you to capture good shots with its wide angle and macro lens. In terms of image quality, the A55 performs well for the price point, delivering sharp and vibrant photos with accurate color. The HDR processing ensures well-exposed shots, even in challenging light conditions. For low-light photography, the A55 9th mode improves image quality in dimly lit environments by reducing noise and enhancing details. On the video front, the device supports 4K recording at 30 frames per second and 1080p recording at 30 at 60 frames per second, providing high-quality video. And there's also software stabilization, which will help you with professional and smooth videos when you're working. For the battery, the A55 has an amazing battery life based on personal usage. With light usage, you can easily last 24 hours on a single charge. This means you can go about your day without worrying about charging. If you're a heavy user, you can get 12 to 16 hours. When it comes to charging, the smartphone supports 25 hours charging, so you spend less time attached to a power outlet. 
A55 charges from 0 to 100 in an hour, 28 minutes. So as usual, pros and cons before I give my conclusion. Pro number one, premium fuel. I love the aluminum frame. It makes it more durable and if it drops, you're not scared that the glass will chatter. Pro number two, amazing camera. It takes good photos. Compared to other devices, it might not be that good, but it takes amazing photos. Selfie and the main camera takes good photos. Pro number three, amazing display. 6.6 inches Super AMOLED display, HDR10. It's an amazing display that gives you good colors. It's good for gaming, good for watching media. It's an amazing one. And my final pro, software updates. As I always say, Samsung does software updates better than any other smartphone brand. Four years software updates, five years security patches. It's, and the A55 is a very strong device, so it won't lag or give you any headache over time. Now let's talk about the cons. There are not much, just two cons. The first one is the price. It's a really hefty price for a device like this. $409, it's a lot. There are other devices you can get for this price point and you won't even have to spend this much. The second con is the chipset. It's a good chipset, kinda. It has a good score, 713K. I feel like it's not optimized. For example, if you test it with Call of Duty Warzone, you can only play it at HD graphics. For a device that has an Antutu score of 713K, you should be able to take it up a notch. For my conclusion, I think the A55 offers a compelling package. You get premium device, versatile camera, long-lasting battery and a vibrant display now is it a worthy upgrade i'll say yes is it value for your money i would say no because for this price point you can get older flagships like s21 ultra <laughs> anyways like share and subscribe drop a comment below tell me what you think about my review and i'll see you guys in the next one